Hi, you're with Chandeep and Goodly once again. And in this video, I'm going to talk about that. How do you do a sum of max in Power BI? Now, by sum of max, I mean to say is that let's just say that you're trying to do a max of any particular column in uh, Power BI. And at the total level, you don't really want to show the max of overall, but instead you want to show the total of all individual max values. I think I'll be able to explain a lot better once you take a look at my computer. Let's just hop over to Power BI and start to solve sum of max in Power BI. All right, I'm in Power BI and that's where I have a very simple data model here. Uh, one transactions table and a couple of uh, dimensions table and they are all linked through one to many relationship. And I have made a very simple pivot table which is where I have the year, I have the month and the total sales presented. Now let's just say that I don't really want to see the total sales of every single month but instead I want to see the sales of one winning product of that month. So I don't really want to see 473,000, but I want to see what's the sales of one winning product or the best selling product of that month. How do we do that? The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to expand my pivot table to first take a look at that number that how does that number look like in the first place? So uh, I'm going to go over to my products table and get my products key right into my year, month and uh, hierarchy and just open up that pivot table. So I have the year hierarchy, the month hierarchy and then the product hierarchy and I can now take a look at sales of every single product. Just by the look of it, or even if I can sort the table right here, I can see that $100,000 was the sales of the best selling product right here. If I go over to the next month, I can see that $114,000 was the sales of the best selling product. Now, instead of showing the sales of all the products, I just wanna see one number, which is the sales of the best selling product. Now, the solution lies in the same way as we have created the pivot table. Now, you can see that to be able to visually take a look at the output, what I did was across the year, across the month, I summarized all the products and I then took a look at every single product and the sales value and found the max for that, right? That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I will have the year and the month in the pivot table, but then I will create a small summary table, which is the products table, calculate the sales for every single product and then pick up the max from that. It doesn't really sound as complicated as I have said. It's really, really simple. Take a look. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the product key right here and go over to my sales table, right click and make a new measure. Let's just call this as winning sales, winning product sales. And I'm going to use a function called a max x function. And the any x function asks you for a table expression and then the calculation that you want to do in every single row. Now, if you say that, hey, I want to go in every single row of the sales table, this is going to be incorrect because you don't really want to go transaction by transaction. If you remember, in my pivot table, I had the year, I had the month, then I had the product. I had the summarization of the year month by the product, right? So I don't really want to go transaction by transaction, but I want to go product by product. So instead of going in every single row of the sales table, I'd like to go in every single of row of the products table. I do that, then it says, hey, what's your expression? My expression is total sales. Go in every single row of the products table and then find total sales and then eventually just find the max of that. This is absolutely going to work if I commit to the formula, press enter and I drag that particular calculation in my pivot table, I do get to see the winning product sales. So at the month, at the year level, it summarized all the products calculated sales for each one of them and then just gave me the max of that. Pretty simple. Now, the problem with this calculation is that as of now, at the total level, you will find that this is not really the uh, sum of all the max values. This is instead the max sales of the best selling product of the entire year, right? But I don't really want the best selling product of the entire year at the total level. I instead want if this plus this, plus this, plus this, plus this, plus this is done, what is going to be the total at the year level rather than actually calculating the max also at the total level. So we're going to jump into DAX Studio, write a small query to see how the table is being created and then use that query in our DAX calculation and hopefully you'll understand how to solve this problem. All right, I'm in DAX Studio and before we start to write the query, let's just try to understand what are we trying to do here. At the total level here, the filter context is going to be just a single filter context, which is year equals to 2001 or two or whatever that might be. Now, the calculation that I'm trying to do should summarize the data first by the month level because I'm trying to find the total of all the products of a particular month of all the months even individually and then sum it up. So I need to summarize the table by the month, also by the product and then carry out the max sales for each one of them and then total it up. That's the logic that I'm trying to build. So to be able to do that at the total level, I need to create a summarization at the year at the month level as well. So 
What do I do? I go over to my DAX Studio and start writing my query. I'll say evaluate. I'm just going to use the summarize function. In the summarize function, I'm just going to say that I'm trying to summarize my sales table and I want the sales table to be summarized by the calendar year. And I would want this to be summarized by the calendar month, right? Uh, hopefully that should, right? And let's close the bracket and let's just kind of format this uh, DAX and let's just run it. So, and you can see that I now get uh, a summarized table year and the month and there is nothing against here because we have not really done any calculation as of now. Now, once I get the table, which is the year and the month table against every single month, what I want to do is I want to find out uh, the sales of every single product and then find the max of that particular product, right? So I want to further summarize uh, the year and the month by all the products that were sold in that particular month. I want to find what is the sales value of every single product and whatever sales was the max sales that value should actually appear in front of that month. That's exactly what I want to do. And eventually, once I have the max value of uh, the best selling product, I will then total it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to write something like an add columns. I'd like to add one more column to this particular table that I have created. And in that column, what I'm going to do is find the sales of the best selling product, right? So I'm just going to say add columns and let's just call this as max sales. And I am going to say that how do I actually calculate the max sales right here? So I'm going to use the same logic that I built it in in Power BI while I was doing the winning product sales, which is nothing but the max X of the products table. And in that I would like to find my total sales value, right? That's what I do. Let's just format this tax and let's just run this calculation. Now you can see that uh, it first creates that summary table, which is the year and the month summary table. Then it goes to the first row and then finds out all the products and their individual sales values, which is nothing through this particular table. And eventually, since we have used the max X function, it then just gives us the sales of the best selling product. Now, this particular code is actually giving us a table. This is this was the table that we had created in Power BI, but this code is actually giving us a table of which I can actually find the individual max sales values. Now I can use this table and just total up this particular column. It's pretty simple. So I use this code, press control C, go back to Power BI and in Power BI, I just maybe create a new measure and call this as sum of max sales, right? And I just use that particular code. Now this particular uh, code is giving me a table and you can't really feed a table inside of a measure. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to say that, hey, I don't really want to go and feed the entire table. I want to go in every single row of this particular table and in every single row of this particular table, I have now created a column called max sales. I just want a total of that. So go in every single row and there is this max sales column that I have created. Please take a total of that and just push it out in my pivot table. That's it. Close it. And then let's just drag this to my pivot table once again. So where is that sum of max? That's the one I drag that. And you can see that now at the total level, I don't really get to find the sales of the best selling product of the year. Instead, I get to see the sales, the total sales of all the max values, which are appearing right here in my pivot table. All right, that was all about uh, doing a sum of max values in Power BI rather than your regular sum or max. If you have any questions around this, please feel free to put down a comment and I will be glad to reply. In the end, a quick shout about my DAX and my Power Query courses. In case you're starting out with Power BI and you need help while building the fundamentals first and then proceed on to solving more challenging problems, I'd highly recommend that you take a look at my courses. It's going to be highly beneficial. Thanks so much for spending time with me and I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers. Bye.